Hey, g'day. Owning a Tesla is quite a unique experience. This is the only vehicle I've ever owned where the car actually gets better the longer you own it. And the reason for that is that Tesla continuously release over the air software updates about once a month. And I always install those as soon as they're available. Tesla's continuously enhancing the technology in the vehicles and the primary interface with the car is this large screen user interface that we have right here. I happen to have video clips from 2021 when I took delivery of my first Tesla which was my Tesla Model 3. Peel that off. Wow. I had that vehicle for about two years. And I've had the Tesla Model Y now for about a year, and during that time the user interface has been continuously improving as well. So I thought what I'd do is a bit of a deep dive into comparing how the user interface has evolved from 2021 through to today. So let's dive right in. This is delivery day, June 2021, when I collected my Tesla Model 3. I'll take the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first experience in a Tesla, as I hadn't taken one for a test drive before I bought it. I figured, well, they've sold several million, what could go wrong? In 2021, Tesla's user interface was already ahead of its time. The minimalist design focused on providing essential information at a glance. Sports steering or standard? I've got autopilots all turned on. Check this out. This is your ventilation. Look, on your side. Look. You want it to go up a bit? Down a bit. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's almost you predict it like about take take off and fly through the yeah. sky. Yeah. The home screen featured navigation, media controls, and vehicle status prominently. Over the past three years, Tesla's user interface has evolved significantly, enhancing functionality, personalization, and integration. Each update has brought us closer to a seamless and intuitive driving experience. So let's take a side-by-side -side comparison of the user interface from 2021 compared to 2024, starting with the graphics used for the representation of other vehicles on the road. Today the Tesla user interface allows for a full screen representation and much higher resolution graphics. In addition, Tesla upgraded the software which improved the resolution and colour rendition of the side cameras so that now when you turn on the indicators to turn left or right, the side cameras are activated and show you the blind spot down the side of the vehicle. Here's a comparison from 2021 to 2024 of reversing out of my garage showing how the visual user interface has changed in that time. A recent innovation is that Tesla have implemented what they call Tesla Vision in the user interface software. Now it's possible to actually see physical walls and other obstacles from a 3D perspective as you maneuver the vehicle. Here is an example of the Tesla Vision when driving across Seacliff Bridge in New South Wales, Australia. The vehicle can recognise pedestrians and parked vehicles well before you get to them. The sound system in the Tesla has always been extraordinary. Even when I purchased the base model Tesla Model 3 in 2021, the Tesla sound system came with all of the acoustic controls you would expect, 
with a graphical user interface for balance, tone control and so forth. Since that time the Tesla audio system has been enhanced further with immersive sound. Tesla Vision can be turned on or off as a user preference. Personally, I find it so useful I leave it turned on all the time. Tesla Vision really is quite extraordinary when you consider that the vehicle has eight cameras and they are filming simultaneously, feeding into the onboard graphics computer, which is reconstructing a 3D model of the environment as the vehicle drives through. You can actually see individual cars, parking spaces, pedestrians, and the visual software will differentiate between cars, vans and trucks, and motorcycles and bicycles. In 2022, Tesla introduced a significant overhaul to the user interface. The design became even cleaner with a focus on customization. Users could now drag and drop widgets to personalize their home screen. This customization extended to the quick control bar, allowing drivers to prioritize the functions they use most frequently. Media controls were integrated with popular streaming services, allowing seamless access to music and podcasts. This included Spotify, more recently Apple Music and Apple Podcasts, as well as Audible, and they do say that YouTube and Amazon Music are in the wings. My Tesla Model Y is equipped with the full self-drive software from Tesla. Sadly, this is still not yet activated in Australia, which is frustrating after a three-year wait. I do have enhanced autopilot, however, and this has gone through a number of iterations and is marginally better than when I first got it. Here's a comparison that the enhanced autopilot had difficulty with in 2021. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it really freaks out. In 2024, the enhanced autopilot software drops out rather than sounding an alarm. Now, this is not designed for use on city streets, so it's not surprising that it didn't complete this corner particularly well. The parking assist technology continues to improve. Parallel parking and reverse parking into a parallel park have been standard on the Tesla since 2021. However, the Tesla Vision now makes the visualization of that process a lot better. The Tesla user interface also provides a voice command feature. Increase temperature. Premium connectivity for $10 a month gives continuous access to the internet. Where I live on the coast, it can sometimes be a bit patchy. Increase fan speed. Play crowded house. It can sometimes be a bit hit and miss, or maybe it's just my accent. Play Crowded House Essentials. Really? You did a bad? The number and quality of games on the oh, Tesla yeah, user okay. interface also <laughs> continues to improve, and you'll really appreciate this after you've spent about 45 minutes with your grandchildren yeah, you sitting in a charging bay. So as Tesla continues to innovate, we can expect more exciting developments in the future. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the evolution of Tesla's user interface. And look, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more reviews and updates in the future. See you next time. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. 
This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.